Last year, Channel 5 did something very special. Oh, yeah. Three families living on benefits were given the chance to change their lives forever in a unique social experiment. Oh, what is this? I don't know. Each were given a lump sum of £26,000. The UK benefits cap at the time for most families. Opportunities like this just don't happen to us. In exchange for the money, they all had to sign off and start earning. I've never worked this hard in my life. The results were incredible. No more dough for this family, and that's what we set out to do. Keep off that benefit system. Now we're doing it all over again. But we're making it bigger. Much bigger. Ah! Oh, God, I'm going to that much money! I can't get my head around it. Oh, thank you. This time, six lucky families will receive the cash lump sum. Oh, this is the road to our future. It's their golden ticket to a better life off benefits. <laughs> will they blow the cash? I feel good. Struggle to run their own lives? I'm frightened I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be... I'm going to fail. Or invest wisely... It's hard-working graph, that is. <laughs> ..and build a better future for their families. Oh, my God, I've got teeth! Oh, my God, I've got teeth! £26,000 may seem like a lot, but changing your life takes more than just money. Are you married? I've got my dream. And I've done it today, and I've got my dream. I'm out of that system now. And there ain't no return for me. No return. Before this experiment arrived in the UK, giving out no-strings-attached cash to people in poverty had been successfully trialled in other parts of the world. This is a really exciting social experiment. We've done it before and we know it works. This is another opportunity for families to come off benefits and change their lives around. Like last time, welfare expert Lee Healy will be on hand to help the chosen six. I'm there to offer support, advice and guidance, but ultimately it's up to the families as to what they want to do with the money. The hundreds who have applied to take part are all waiting to find out if they've been selected to receive the money. But it's not all one way. In exchange, they must sign off benefits. I have wanted to be a tattoo artist since I was about four. It is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And I would make it work. At any moment, £26,000 could arrive on their doorstep. We're on fire again. <laughs> I just don't know. It's the oil. It's the oil, isn't it? 53-year-old Lorraine lives on the London and Essex border in Romford. Alison, here you go, girl. Taste that. Yummy, yummy! <laughs> My name's Lorraine. I've got um, four sons, one daughter, 11 grandchildren, another one on the way, so that makes 12. Lorraine shares her house with her heavily pregnant 20-year-old daughter, Cara, and her daughter, Isabella. My mum, she's funny, she's outgoing, she helps everyone. If anyone's got a problem, she'll put their problem to the back and concentrate on theirs. So she's the heart of our family. It might look, look disgusting, but I'll tell you, it's going to go down a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, you've had worse. Lorraine left school at 15 and has been on benefits her entire adult life. I hate being on benefits. It makes me feel like a, a stranger, a nobody. Everybody looks down at you. This is my bathroom. I'd love to have this tiled on that. Just haven't got the money for it. And look. No way in a million years that I could afford a new sink. When I have a bath, I turn the light off because of this. Oh, that's true. I'm sure thousands of people out there don't want to be in that rock. They just don't, but they just haven't got the, the help to get away from that rock. <laughs> Lorraine's life has been far from easy. 
Aged two, she was taken from her parents and into care. And at 15, she became a mum. I never really had a mother. They was never mother. They were like members of staff. I was in that up until I was 15. And they wondered why I was this rebellious, rebellious teenager. And um, they kicked me out. I do know more for you. There's the streets, there's the road, go and get on with it. I'm not saying my mum was perfect or my dad. I don't really know. But I'm sure it'd have been a bit, lot better than the system. If Lorraine is one of the six families selected to receive the £26,000, she has firm plans to change her life. What I would like to do is open up a children's clothes store and hopefully be able to build enough to just have my own little shop. That would be my dream. I don't know where this washing comes from, girl. If it's all yours and Isabella's. I don't know if it's an old cockney thing, I don't know. It's, Get out in that market and meet people and sell me goods. <laughs> come on, girls, come and get your ball gigs. Come on, two ninety. Oh, blowing me. Two ninety nine. Oh no, I can do it. Watch out, because <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Four months ago, the search for families to take part in this experiment began, and hundreds applied. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Go to, go to Mummy. Go and sit there with Mummy. That's now, unbeknownst to Lorraine, £26,000 in cash is on the way to her home. so much to me, baby girl. High five. Smell it. It's a face and pain. You don't get that in a, in a, in a, in a month. <laughs> no, you don't. It's a bit of money, yeah. But for the, for the likes of my mum, it's more than a bit of money. It's now leaving her past behind and starting a new future. I'm here. Open my case, baby girl. Oh! Excuse my language. Alison from next door Fazen. Fazen. has just heard the news. Oh. I'm, I'm going to make my life now. I know you are. You've got, you're, there it is. You've got your proof in front of you. I'm tired to treat myself a little bit. Yes, a little bit. You're a rich woman. I will double that. I know. You, you're double, I can guess you'll double face. that within a couple of months, six months, I reckon. Yeah. Well, well do done. Want, do you want one more sniff? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I don't want to sniff. Just, hold on. Right, I'll see you later. <laughs> You get back here. That's my business money, girl. <laughs> no, good for you. My business. Well done. Thank you. All right, all right. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Lorraine needs something to get her going now. This is going to get her going. It's going to give her motivation. She's going to get up. She's going to go and do it. So, fingers crossed, she'll make a go of it. I know Lorraine will. This means so much. It's just hard to believe that someone had faith in me. I still feel like, hey, hold on a minute. Something's gonna go wrong here. I'm just in shock. I'm out of that system now. And there ain't no return for me. No return. Coming up, another family receives £26,000. <laughs> and Lorraine starts spending. You look like you've got a pair of baboon's arse stuck to your lips. <laughs> oh, that's trying to <laughs> Four months ago, 
hundreds of families began applying to take part in a unique social experiment to help them get off benefits for good. Those selected will each receive £26,000. Being given 26 k is a big deal. Our families are going to have to be really sensible with the money, and the risk is that they just blow the lot. The cash is going to be burning a hole in their pockets. No, oh, don't keep saying thank you, because you don't mean it. 53-year-old grandmother Lorraine from Romford, Essex, is the first person to receive the cash. I'm trying to um, close down my claim for housing benefit. Before Lorraine can start spending the money, she has to fulfil her part of the deal and sign off all benefits. W WM81. No, I've got a blank, girl. I'm so excited I've got a blank. <laughs> Yes, please, yeah. It's, that's to cancel it. Like, from today? OK, then. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. We've done it. No more benefits. Benefits free. Woo! I can't believe it. Next time I meet someone, who asked me, what do I do? I'm a businesswoman, and I'm going to so enjoy it. In the search for families to be given a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get off benefits, a single mum from Southend applied to take part. <laughs> no, Reggie, Reggie! Ow. Reg, right, calm down, otherwise you're going to bed. Oh, my God, I'm shouting. <laughs> Reggie! My name's Donna and these are my three boys, Jacob, George and Reggie. Reggie is very hyperactive and doesn't shut up. George is always on a computer. Jacob only thinks about money. 38-year-old <laughs> Donna has never had a full-time job since leaving school at 16. The majority of my life I've been on benefits, income support, child tax credits and child benefit and housing benefit. I expected my life to be a lot different than this. I was not planned out how I exactly wanted it. This is my lunch. This is my lunch. Just this. Careful, because you're going to drop them, Rage, holding both hands. My mum is caring, loving. She put anyone else before herself. The family of four survives solely on benefits, which after rent and bills, leaves nothing. George is obviously at the age where he wants his friends round, and so is Reggie now. He's getting lots of people round for tea after nursery, but I don't want their friends round because it's embarrassing. I don't want them to go home and say that. And we live like scumbag. This is my room. Um, I've got no carpet or blinds in here because I can't afford them. It's, like a, it's not a luxury to some people, but it is to us. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Because I don't want people to think I'm a scumbag. <laughs> and it's not fair on the kids either. Going into George and Reggie's room, um, they've got no carpet, obviously, as well. Wardrobes are broke. And the chest of drawers are broke as well. And they have no nets or colour uh, curtains either. <laughs> That's it. Mm, no. Despite being long-term unemployed, Donna does hold an MVQ in hairdressing. You right? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, not bad. You and to? regularly styles her friend Katie's hair. I live really close, so obviously she sees me when I walk the kids to school in the morning, say hi, had a cup of coffee, you know. Become good friends. Yeah, become really good friends, and yeah, she's someone I can trust. What's your actual natural colour? Brown? Yeah, it's like a mousy brown. Yeah. Donna doesn't know that she's also in line for the money, but she dreams of becoming a hairdresser. First thing I'd do would be to have my own salon. It would set me up because I know I would make it work. So I'd put it all into the business and then I'd work my ass off, really. I'd get myself overexcited or I'd make myself depressed thinking, oh, but I don't get it. <laughs> so even though I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it is from Nando's. 
That is Nando's yeah. sign, isn't it? It's Nando's. Yeah, it's Nando's, see? Yeah, well, I don't say Nando's. It just says Iceland. <laughs> Southern fried chicken wedgies, two piri piri chicken quarters, and four piri piri chicken wings and piri piri sauce. And I'll make, I'll make some coleslaw as well. Oh my god! Donna is the second person to receive the £26,000 cash lump sum. Uh, I want to go out now and just buy a shop and buy all my accessories, all my stuff to set it up with, and then start tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Take your time with it all. Yeah, I know, but I just want yeah, to get just all take, Yeah, just take your time with the business. Don't just go straight into it. Donna now has enough money to pursue her hairdressing dreams. <laughs> And she's promised Katie a job in her salon. Oh my God! Oh my God. Look at this money, baby. Look at this money, honey. Are you ready for a business? Are you Are ready? ready for a business? Yeah. Banging. <laughs> I do feel confident. I'm good at what I do, so I shouldn't see why it shouldn't take off. So, I'm, you know, not unless I'm stupid with money and like that sort of side of it, but I'm not going to be. Yeah. It's going to change everyone's life. I don't, know what to, I don't even know what to do, where to start, really. I won't be asking my mum for anything. I'd want her to put it all in, in the business. We could be seeing more money than this if we had our own business, so that's the way I see it. Here's the late nights, working it all out. Because you, know, you know this is what's going to happen. We I have to wait. I it's just... a lot, trust me, but... It's all there, I, it's there in my head. And it's there, now I can put it all into practice, everything into yeah, practice. It's going to take a while, but once it's there, it's there, it's done. Oh, God, you know I can't actually leave, we've got it. It's set off, mate. The next Tony and Guy. Sorry, Tony and Guy. <laughs> but, you know. Next Donna Stafford. Hey, we're coming for you. We're coming. <laughs> the first thing Donna's going to do is treat everyone to a slap-up meal at a restaurant she's never been able to afford. Do you want to come? Can you come? I can't. I can't get babysitter, babe. Is it? I can't because it's short notice for people. Yeah, yeah. They, no one's gonna do it. But um, I can get babysitter maybe for later. Later. Well, I tell you later. what. I'll give you some money and you can go and have a little celebration with you and the kids at home. Are you sure? Yeah, no. I will. You don't have to do that. No, I want to. I want to. Thank I want you. to. That's nice. It's two hundred pound. There's that all right? Are you sure? Yeah, that's fine. Two hundred pound. Oh, okay. Oh, babe. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Oh my God! Lobster pancake. You want a lobster pancake? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. This is to a successful business and many good days and evenings and years to come for all of us. To see my mum this happy makes me, makes me smile as well. Aww. Love you, Jakey. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Donna must sign off all benefits, hopefully for good. The thought of cancelling all my benefits, my housing and everything is scary because that's my safety net gone. I am I am scared. I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't scared or worried, so but I am worried about it. If a year from now I had my own business and it was up and running and doing well, I'd be so happy. I, I wouldn't even be able to explain how. It'd just be a totally different change of life and a way of life for all of us. It would just be... It would be like a little dream come true. Dun, dun, dun! What did you say? <laughs> and what did I say? Right, I'm close here, it's 136 pounds. 50p! This one meal has just cost Donna half of her usual budget for the week. In her first day, she's spent and given away 538 pounds. This money won't last forever. It's not a lottery win. The families are going to be shocked how fast you can get through 26,000 pounds. I'm feeling absolutely knackered. Bella's been sick all night. Cara, as, it, as it's her first child, she panics and she gets all nervous and, you know, all I heard was, she can't breathe, she can't breathe. Well, as I said to her, if you're sick, you can't breathe either. In Romford, 53-year-old Lorraine is now a woman with means. She plans to use her cash to open a market stall, but first, 
she's going to splash out on a long-term dream. Today's the day, Gil, for me Botox. Yep. I'm quite excited, but I'm a bit nervous. I would be at all. needles don't bother me, really, so... Oh, I don't know about all that palaver. You should grow old, naturally. Oh, you... Yeah. Come to, come to me at my age and then say that. I will. And I think it would be a bit different tune of voice. No. Yes, it will. So how much are you going to have done? I don't know. I'm going to leave it for them to um, have a look. Obviously, they're professionals. They They've know. got to make their money. I won't get too much. I won't. I'll just say I'll have to get one and one. Bella, do you think Nanny's beautiful as she is? Bella, do you see by the time your nan comes home, you're going to be scared of her? No, it's, it's not going to be gonna that. She's going to look like a monster. No, I'm not. <laughs> Lorraine has dreamed of having Botox for years, but with each area of the face costing around £200, she's never been able to afford it. I'm just going to tell just you... Just sit or what? No, you can sit, and I'm just going to chat about what you've decided about what you're going to have, yeah? <laughs> under eyes, are you happy with your under eyes, how they look? No, I'm not happy. OK, right. <laughs> Here. Lorraine is opting for Botox in three places on her face. Oh, wow. See what that happens there. Mm. Yeah. And cheek and lip filler, for a total price of £1,120. Oh. OK. Yeah. A bit nervous. Okay, so it's the first injection. Mm. Two more sharp scratches. We're glutton for punishment, us women. I just heard it oak. Yes, that is. <laughs> that is the one. Okay, let's go ahead with the lips then, yeah? Because they're horrible, my lips. I, I know they are. Borders are slightly more painful. That's good. This wasn't too bad. Got used to it. Yeah, it must be. So you can sit down. Oh, I can sit up now. Yes, you can. Oh, oh, I'm really happy. Yeah? Really happy. Good. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I feel good. <laughs> Bit sore, but good. <laughs> oh. You look like you've got a pair of baboon's ass stuck to your lips. <laughs> if you go onto Google and look at Baboon's arse and put your lips next to it, oh, you'll see the resemblance oh, what your lips look like. Oh, your baboon's so... arse. Oh, don't take the biscuit. <laughs> Not that bad. Coming up... That'd be nice them Stone Island jeans I just showed you. Donna splashes the cash. I also like Angel. I might treat myself to a bottle of Alien. And a third family receives the life-changing 26 grand. <laughs> I've never seen the Hush before. <laughs> Out of hundreds of applicants, two families have now been given £26,000 to help them build a new life off benefits. Yeah, I love pineapple. Yesterday, Donna, from South End was one of the lucky ones to receive the no-strings-attached cash lump sum. Are you hanging? A little bit. <laughs> Fragile, are we, this morning? Very. Had to fry up, so I'm all right. Oh, so Donna is planning to use the money to open up a hair and sure. beauty salon. I think I must have gone to sleep with a smile on my face. I can't with one of them. Yeah, you know it. There's a lot <laughs> of work to be done, but, you know, that's it. It's going to be all right. <laughs> Take... <laughs> Get out of the way, go upstairs, Reg. Straight jacket, done about a sonic suit. As part of the deal, and before she can start her business, Donna must sign off all benefits. How are you feeling though? Do you feel right? I'm frightened, really. Are you frightened? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm it's my frightened. safety net taken away. Yeah, I sit now. I see everything now that I do, I've got to do on my own. Rent, bills, accounts, tax. I've got, got to do it all own. myself yeah. now, so it is really scary. Hi, um, I'm ringing up to cancel my income support, please. I can do it, but it still is scary. My housing is my security, because that gets paid straight to the people who I rent the house off. But um, I know I can do it. It will be a challenge for her, but I think she's strong enough to take that challenge on. She'll put her all into it. She will. I know she will. Bye, bye. Bye. Sorted. Is that it? That's one of them sorted, is yeah. Is that it? First to go is income support. Cheers, thanks for your help. Next, 
Bye, bye. Housing benefit. Sorted. Two. Cheers. And finally. And you, bye, bye. Tax credits. My heart's racing for you. <laughs> My hands are all sweaty. Oh. So, yeah, all done, thank God. <gasps> and I don't think that's the part no more. <laughs> I'm a working girl. I'm a working <laughs> mama. With more than 25 grand in cash to her name, Donna is hitting the shops. Right, those, those. Right. Right, what are you getting? That one's good, look at him. They're nice. They are lovely. That's well nice. Really fussy. That'd be nice with them Stone Island jeans I just showed you. I also like Angel. I also like Jador. I might treat myself to a bottle of Alien. Yes, I'll have Alien. Can I, what's the £45 one? That's a 30 mix. There we go. Have a nice day. Lovely. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. I feel really happy that I've been able to buy them stuff and I bought myself some perfume. So I'm really happy and I hope they're happy as well. Yeah. Yeah? Most of it was on George. 250 of it was on George. Um, yeah, 270, sorry. Then um, I spent £100 in the perfume shop and then spent money on Reggie. Two families have each received £26,000 and are now on their way to a new life off benefits. It's a journey of self-discovery in relation to paying your own bills, moving into work, and actually just having an opportunity to change your life for the better. On the outskirts of London, another family is hoping that they will also get lucky. Enjoyed it? Bye. Was the dinner nice? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Adam and Kim are both unemployed. They live with their two children, Harry and Shaney, in Erith, near Dartford. Daily life on the benefits is pretty boring. You get up, you do your chores, walk the dogs. You have things. nothing to look forward to, I don't no. think. It's the same every single day. Not a life I'd choose for anybody, I don't think. No. Yeah. Good girls. After leaving school, Adam trained as a carpet fitter and was in regular work. I was fitting carpets for like 16 years. Obviously, you get up, you go work, you're meeting different people, you're in and out of different people's houses. So it was totally different. But eight years ago, he had to give it all up to care for his disabled son, Harry. He had scoliosis, which is sort of like a curvature of the spine. He's got dislocated hips, he's got weak muscles right throughout his body. He can't walk unaided. For me, it would have been nice if I could have done the two because I always enjoyed going to work and doing the job that I'd done. But it just wasn't feasible and it wasn't practical. I think my dad does miss working. He really enjoyed his job. I don't really like relying on my dad, but I know I have to because there are certain things I can't do. So I feel grateful, but at the same time, I also want him to get back to work because I know he has missed out on like a lot of socialising with other people and that because obviously he's had to look after me all these years. You to go first, Shane. Kim is also keen to get back to work after recently battling cancer. I now need to do something with my life because how long's anyone got? <laughs> we don't know. So I need now to make the most of everything. That's how I look at life now. And I know Adam looks at life the same. Don't be looking under that table. Now that Kim's finished her cancer treatment, the couple want nothing more than to provide a better life for their family. If we got the money, the first thing you would like to do your HGV licence, wouldn't you? Yeah. As a backup. Then I would like to try and set up my business. I'd like to go into spray tanning. Oh, that would have been me. Look what the other card was. King. Do I put them face up or face down? Well, you can put them face down because you're putting them down anyway. Do yours and then I'll do mine. This one. No, not that one. Oh. But that one is also up here. That okay. one is also up here. Oh. Alright. Cheers. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Change lives, innit? Oh my god. I've never seen the first one <laughs> before. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Adam and Kim are the third of our families to receive the £26,000 cash handout. <laughs> this, this is our life changed already. Like a fresh start. This is our opportunity now. And yep. build a, hopefully, a better future, isn't it, really? It's <laughs> gone. I can't. <laughs> A celebration meal. Yay! <laughs> now that Adam and Kim are £26,000 richer, there is nothing to stop them pursuing their dreams. We're coming off benefits. We're not a benefit family no more. We're going to find our own way and hopefully make it work. We are going to have to do some research, especially on the tanning, what are the good machines. Oh, no. Yeah, definitely. Being self-sufficient, looking after your own family, it fills you with a bit of pride. You know, you feel like you can get your manliness back. You know, you're providing for your family again. So it's, it's a good feeling. Things like this don't happen to people like us, but obviously it does. <laughs> this is a whole new life for both of us. Oh, but I know I look a two and eight at the moment, but do you know what? I scrub up well, that's all that's important. <laughs> in Romford, for the first time ever, Lorraine is in financial control of her life and is planning to set up a children's clothes store. Hello. 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 How are you doing? doing After a lifetime on benefits, she has no idea how much it costs to pay her own way or start up a business. So the experiment's welfare expert, Lee Healy, is stepping in to help. So, benefits have gone. We need to start thinking about the budget, household yes, budget moving yes. forward. OK. Well, Carl's going to do all this because I am dyslexic. That I've got the brains. Good. She's got the writing. Sounds good. So, first of all, rent £801 per month that was being covered. So My rent is £800 and something. Pound. Pound a month, yeah. And, oh. and gas and electricity, £40 a month. Council tax, £137 a month. Groceries, £173 a month. Cigarettes, £182 a month. Seeing it in black and white is, is really that's, makes me nervous. And that's the idea for today. I've never sat and thought, thought of all this because it's done for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, it's so hard But that hard has blown my mind. Yeah, yeah. We've got the scary stuff out of the way, yeah. right? So yeah. that's and exactly let's move it. Let's on to the exciting bit. I want to um, open up a market store mm -hmm. with uh, children's clothing. So. Okay. Any notes you've got, feel free to share. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. good, Cara. Tell them, show them what we've done. Yeah. She's got a trader's licence. Okay. Because because I have to get a trader's licence before to get the, anything to... Before yeah. Course, you can get a stall, but when you go to buy your stock, they want to see a trader's licence yeah. so they can give you the deal, otherwise you're not going to get it. Yep. Yeah. Also, public liability. Yep. Yeah. Um, account books and receipts. Oh, you're... You we're guys... We're on so we're on <laughs> Definitely, because, you know, the nuts and bolts of any business is obviously run on numbers and finances. Yeah. So, ultimately, this business needs to make money yes and i'm going to give you a bit of an idea of the kind of things you, that i want you guys to be doing over the next week i want you to be finding out how much those licenses cost i want you to be finding out how much a market stall costs what your unique selling point is of the business and what's going to set you apart and drive sales into your business but it's an exciting thing it's it is exciting, exciting. it is do you know what lee i've i've got so much passion mm -hmm. and so much heart because it's it's my dream and if you've got that if you've got the passion in your heart you caught with the way there yeah definitely feeling I'm feeling, oh very much okay very much and i'm going all the way lee yes. we're so gonna do it we can do this we can definitely. Do Brain strengths are definitely her motivation, her confidence, the support that she's got from her family. Her weaknesses, obviously she's not worked for a long time. It will be a shock to her system how much is actually involved in both managing her day-to-day -day finances and starting a business. That chat with Lee is going to definitely make her succeed, definitely. 
I believe in her, that's the main thing. I feel good that I'm going to take control over my own bills, my own life. I do really feel good about that. Even though it's scary, there's a, an excitement inside me to think, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it myself. What does business rates mean? I'm not too sure. Why? What do, what's that fun? In South End, it's Donna's first day of setting up a new business. Rates payable, 2,880 per annual. She's dreamed of opening her own salon since completing her MVQ levels one and two in hair ten years ago. I'm going to ring up about a property. Um, Jacob found it on the internet, online. So I'm going to ring up. Um, it's quite local, it's in our um, budget as well. So I'm just going to ring up just to see if there's any chance that I can go and view it. So I'm just going to ring them now. But yeah, I just wondered if it was possible to come and uh, have a viewing, if that's OK. In the afternoon, if possible, please. That's brilliant. Yeah, 1.30 is fine. Yeah, that's lovely. Bye. Bye. I'm well excited about getting up and running, getting it all kitted out and that, having me open day. I'm well excited. Anything is achievable as long as you work hard to achieve it. Nothing gets given to you, does it, and dropped on your lap. You've got to go out and get it. Coming up... That's really pissed me off, he has. Lorraine's business hits a snag. I've never heard so much rubbish in all my life. I'm going to stay in my grand, sorry. While Donna is reaching for the stars. I'm hoping on getting somebody, maybe a little bit famous, <laughs> to cut the ribbon on the opening day. Two weeks ago, three families were each given £26,000 to build a new life off benefits. It's going to feel amazing when they start earning their own money. It's something that they haven't done for a long time. They've been reliant on the benefit system, and it's going to give them a real confidence boost. Oh, look at these. <gasps> amazing. In Romford, Lorraine has splashed out on a new face, spent a total of two grand, and is now ready to pursue her business dream. I'm going to make this call and see what, he's, what he says. She plans to sell baby clothes at Romford Market. Good afternoon, Romford Market office. Okay. Hi, my name's Lorraine. Um, I'm regarding um, about market stall. What do you intend to sell, please? Children's wear from newborn up until eight, nine, ten. At the moment, we have a trader selling newborn baby wears and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to allow you to trade on Romford Market, I will allow you to start selling children's wear from age two. From age two. Mm -hmm. That's okay with you. That's not good. Well, I'm not really. That's not really any good for me, really. There's going to be a clash of interest in what you're selling. But she's been on this market for the last 15 years. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing Spanish clothing. Spanish clothing. Spanish yeah, clothing. Different. It's completely different for what she's selling. Completely different. She, completely different you, stuff. What she's selling. Have you been on the market before to see what she's selling? I oh, live in Romford. I live in Romford. I used to. I used to my daughter buys off of us, so I live in Romford. Alright, like I said, it is I can allow you to sell it from age two to fourteen. Can it? I, well, what I'll have to do is I'll have to. Um, I'll have to get back to you. Sorry. All right, all right. Thank you. Bye. I've never heard so much rubbish in all my life. I'm going to stay in my grand. Sorry. I'm going to stay in my grand. I've never heard of that. You, you go, go to, to all different markets. You go to Dagenham Market, there's 25 children's stall with the same stuff. So are you going to chuck three of them off? Yes, all the same them them off? stuff. So if I don't see you chuck three of them off, I'm going to now there. take you to the Romford Recorder because yes. that, that's, not, that's, that's bad what you're doing. That's, because ba that's bad. There's 20 adults still here and they all sell the same age, gra age gr range. And the same sort of stuff. And the same sort of stuff. So if I'm not allowed to stall here because there's that one there, you've got to click all these off and just have that one stall that's not similar. And when he says no, you take him to the Romford Recorder and now soon have no about it. Oh, that's what we're Never doing. heard so much bullshit in my life. They just want a fish and chips stall down there, which they ain't, well, they ain't getting. getting a fish and chips show. I'm not into fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> that's really pissed me off, he has. 
on the outskirts of London, Kim and Adam are wasting no time in setting up Kim's tanning business. Oh, um... Yeah, no, we, what you need to do is put in spray tan wholesalers. Oh, right, OK. They're researching courses and products. I've never really been one for a tan myself. <laughs> You've got to try it yourself before you do it on other people. Yeah. You know, it's like, um, you know, a chef, isn't it? Are you going to come mm. with me and have one? No. No, because we're two different skin types. I'm not going to get spray tan. No. If you want a spray tan, you get yourself spray tanned. <laughs> this dog's going to drown itself one of these days. Head in the bowl. Oh, no. Mop the floor. Kim has just taken her first step towards getting back to work by booking a tanning course for £114. I wouldn't have done this a week ago. This is actually happening. This is my, what I want to do, and I'm doing it. And after an hour in a wholesaler's... You've got bikini wear for someone who don't want their backside tan, and then you've got G-string for someone that does. <laughs> She spent another £328 on kit. Right, lovely, right, thank you, yes. <laughs> Wasn't going to buy it until after I'd had <laughs> my calls, but because it was such a good deal, I just couldn't refuse. I feel like I have a business now. It's good. <laughs> See you later, George. See you later, George. He's got his earphones in. In Southend, Donna is also taking her first steps into business. Even got my own shutters. And she's brought one of her best friends, Nicole, along for backup. Is it just a shop or the flat upstairs? No, just a shop. Ah. Oh. One minor problem at the moment. Yeah. It's a leak. Landlord, it's a leak. We think it's coming from the flat upstairs. So right. We're currently investigating at the moment. OK. What's the landlord like upstairs? Is he it's getting it's under it's it? Is he...? It, the, the landlord's actually away. They are aware of the leak. How long's he been going on for? Uh, probably about a week. Couple of weeks. So, yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to work out what's going on. Yeah, we're just trying to work out what's couple of weeks, so... Not a very great landlord upstairs, sorry, but if you ain't got... He probably, one... he did, he probably didn't even know about it. I know I can expand like, it, but I'm worried... This could be all the Sandy Beauty bit, like, so This will be where you get... Ignore the ice. Fit, that's going to be... That's going to be bits, sorted, yeah. and all this, yeah? yeah all this here, yeah? yeah? It's a lovely size. It's, yeah, I can see this bit being the eye fit and the sunbed down yeah. here. The nail bar would go in there. There's plenty yeah. of room to have a nail bar in there. You've got loads of electric points as well. Yeah. He's nice. If we do take it and money's put down, then yeah. that should be sorted. So we're and coming again, in and just start start doing what we need to do in here, and, and not depend, worry. It depends but... on the proposal that you make. It will depend on how much work the owner does. Right, OK. Yeah. OK, you... No, yeah, Nick? I, I think it's lovely, but I don't think that should come into the price at all. No. Unbelievable, no. it's his damage. Yeah, no, it depends. <clears throat> if, um, if you say to him, I'll be excellent the money, but I want you to do that, um, well, them, I just don't think that should even come into it. That should be done before uh, the price was done before. Yeah. Every January was different. Yeah. You've got to look into it all first. Yeah. You've seen it. Do your research now of everything you want to know, and then you, you, you need to find out what he's going to do. Right, yeah. OK, then I'll give you a bell tomorrow. Time. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't believe it. Does it feel real now? Yeah. Doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, do, like I, do, I, do, I do like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. I just now I just want to put all my plans into practice and get the salon up and running and have the open day. I'm really looking forward. I know it's not here yet. I haven't even got a salon yet, but I'm hoping on getting somebody maybe a little bit famous <laughs> to do it. So I like to cut the ribbon on the opening day and smash the bottle of champs. I was about to say smash the window then. No, smash the bottle of champagne. And then we can all go, yeah! It's open. Next time... I've just learned that. Ah, I can't see! The families get to work... And you'll get darker as the night goes on. Lorraine's business plans are put temporarily on hold by a new arrival... Oh, she reminds me of Isabella. And the reality of life off benefits hits home. I am really frightened. I'm frightened I'm not going to make it either.